guys. So I decided to post my May Killer Kit video um, today, Monday, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, because the weekend was insane. Just insane with National Scrapbook Day, fun and challenges. Um, I scrapbooked a ton. I have so, and I didn't just scrapbook. So I scrapbooked a lot without recording stuff, but then I also scrapbooked a ton. I also recorded a ton of videos. So Yay, you have lots of videos coming your way, and I'm super happy with everything I created. Um, so for my spending quarantine, one of the one of my subscribers left a comment and she said that I should systematically start by grabbing the bottom out of my paper tower, like whatever uh, whatever collections in the bottom, and then just kind of like make one layout going all the way through, which I thought is a really cool idea, and I might do something like that, but it gave me the idea that for my Killikit for May, I would pull the bottom collection out of my paper tower and whatever it was, that's what we were going to work with and then I was going to add a couple things to it. So, I pulled out the collection and we have Maggie Holmes Flourish, which I have a disgusting amount of supplies from. And then I did add some extras too. I went through my um, stash and added some products to my collection, to my collection, so... Um, all of the papers are from Maggie Holmes Flourish, and um, I think these were part of a click kit at one point, I'm pretty sure. So we'll start with the papers, and I'll get to the embellishments and stuff. So I have a bunch of different, um, oh, like scraps and bits and pieces and things like that. And then, I think at some point, I must have done a layout where I took just a portion of, like, every one of these 12 by 12 papers. Because these are all kind of cut down. But they're cut down, like, so that the same amount is taken off of each of them. So I'm sure if I go through my videos or go through something somewhere, there's something where I used all of these, like, papers and just took a strip of them. So we still have these, um, and since I do have quite a few 8 half by 11 uh, scrapbook layouts um, in my to be scrapped pile of photos, uh, maybe we'll do some 8 half by 11 since these seem to be that, I, I must have chopped them down for something. Um, so these, this is all Maggie Holmes Flourish, which I, I can't even remember what year this Flourish came out. Let's look. Um, 2017. So this is three years old. Um, so this is a whole sheet. Oh, and you know what else? Oh, well, we'll get there because they're here too. Okay. So, um, this is a cut apart sheet and then the other side is this one that you like cut. I'm just kind of flipping through them, um, mostly to familiarize myself. Um, and you get to see them too. So this is acetate. Oh, acetate. Didn't even know that was there. I literally just like put the, I pulled it out of my big Ziploc, dumped it in that iris container, and then went through my Maggie Holmes embellishments looking for things and colors that I thought might work. Um, so this flourish, yeah, this was ex designed exclusively for scrapbook.com. They did their own like extra at paper add-on with uh, Maggie Holmes for this collection. And um, yeah, I have that too. So. I like this color. I'm going to try to be pulling in some of the lighter colors. This was a fall release and it's very, it has that dark kind of fall um, idea to it. So these papers from Flourish that were the extra add-on from scrapbook.com, the other side is just a solid color. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull out papers and designs kind of like this that are a little more light and springy and do some more spring photos with this collection since it's May, right? Um, flowers, things. I have a couple pages that I can work on or I have things from other years too. So this is kind of um, going to be interesting because this collection is not a spring collection. It was more of a fall winter collection. All right. So let's look at what we have here. So 
using that idea of wanting to pull in colors that were a little more towards a lighter more spring color palette. This was a cut apart that was in here. So yeah, and this was cut these cut aparts were from Click Kits. So part of this of my flourish collection was definitely a click kit. Definitely. Um so this was like a cut apart printable and so I have all of those. I pulled these out. These are not from Flourish. These are from Bloom. I pulled them out uh, because I think they're getting to like where they're smushy and they're kind of they need some extra adhesive and they're they're not they're not surviving in my stash well, and they are those lighter colors that I want to kind of pull in. So I grab that unopened. Let's see if we can empty it. Six by eight flourish pad. These are from, oh, you know what? I think these are from a birthday collection. Confetti, yep. And these are six years old. They're from 2014. So we've got some serious Maggie Home stash here going on. Um, I think the bloom. Bloom is from that period too, 2015, yep. Okay, so we have all these beautiful letter stickers. And then I pulled out like these, these, this is from Carousel maybe, uh, but I would love to use this whole page up. I'd love to use these beautiful flowers and get them used up. I grabbed out these, these are also from Bloom, just because I, again, I'm looking at this and kind of thinking about, uh, see like that would work really well like just taking some of these lighter colored papers and using them on layouts for spring so I have that and then I don't have one so I have the six by eight paper pad and then two six by six paper pads from from flourish lots and lots of six by six papers this is from Flourish. I just have a couple of these left. And see, I think I was working with this during the fall and winter. So then these lighter colored pieces, you know, weren't working with my photos. So I have the lighter colored those. I'd love to use this up too. I have one wooden frame and I have actually already uh, glued sequins to this because this was supposed to, this was part of another, a heritage layout, which also we might be doing heritage layouts this month as well. That would be a good use of these products. Again, I'm pretty sure this is, this is not from Flourish, this is from another collection. Um, I think, I don't know what collection it goes with, but it will work nicely. Uh, we have the thickers, these are from the Flourish collection, they're really pretty, they're like a rose gold. And I haven't used a lot of them, so that'll be good, I have lots of titling options. Um, unopened pack of the scrapbook.com ephemera from Flourish. That's right, never even opened it up. Okay, I'm looking for years here, but I think, yeah, this is all 2017. I have the standouts, and there's quite a few of these left. Maybe we can use up some of those, because again, these are lighter colors. Uh, two sticker, these are not identical. I think, again, I think, one of these is from the collection one of these 6x12 sticker sheets is from the collection, you know, that you could buy anywhere. And then the other 6x12 sticker sheet is from uh, the scrapbook.com exclusive, like, add-on. And then I have, so this is the ephemera pack that w was just the ephemera pack. This was not the ephemera pack that was exclusive to scrapbook.com. Um, and I also, in... So in my head, I think, if I'm remembering this correctly, this is actually mixed in with, um, so it's the ephemera, and then it's mixed in with some other things from that collection, like other embellishments, like there's a gold leaf in here. I think that's from um, some other embellishments too. So just a little goodie bag. And then, oh, these are Click Kit flares, which again, they were in that bag with all the flourish stuff, which makes me think that it was a that a lot of the reason I have like doubles and triples of different things is probably because I bought it and then got it in a click kit. That happens. That happened to me a number of times. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna have a month of turning a fall winter collection, the one that is a little bit darker in color tone, and we're gonna make some light, bright, more spring themed layouts, which I think we can do. And yeah, that's my plan for May. 
So I hope you will hang out. And if you are the subscriber that suggested I pull from the bottom of my paper tower, thanks. That was a great idea. I love it. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.